We're in Volume 6 of the Bible Story. My book has uh, two women on a balcony. And we are in Part 2, Story 2, The Road Back. Okay? Swift messengers carry the good news all over the kingdom of Medo-Persia. Imagine the thrill it brought to all the Jews in captivi captivity. Some may have been expecting something like this to happen, but many had given up all hope of seeing their homeland again. But there came the good new, good word that they were free to go back now. It was almost too good to be true. What happened then is described in the book of Psalm. When the Lord turned again the capti captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord hath done great things to them. The Lord hath done great things for us. Wherefore, we are glad. Of course, everybody wasn't happy. Some were so too old to go, and some were too sick. Some ha had new babies in the journey, seemed too long and hard, Okay, some having new babies, and the journey seemed too hard, too long and hard, while others were comfortable and did, didn't did want to go back at all. Suddenly, every son of Abraham found himself asking the question, Shall I go or shall I stay? I'm going, said one, and I and I, said others, in no time all, at all, whole families were packing up and moving to the place of the uh, to the place of departure. Among, almost fifty thousand made their way there, and what a happy crowd it was! All were in high spirit, high spirits, and it was wonderful to be free at last and to know that in a little while they were they would be home again in their own country king cyrus had been so kind to them he had even opened his treasure house and brought forth the vessels of the house of the lord which nebuchadnezzar had brought forth out of jerusalem and had put, and then a pause, in the house of his God. But of all, best of all, was the thought that God had remembered his promise and, right on time, had ended their captivity. It was so good to feel that they were in God's favor once more. And it has... Uh, this uh, painting and it is printed weird so it kind of looks like it's digity and it's not my camera just the way this is printed so I got a um, my books might have <coughs> a lot of, of mistakes in it Okay. King Cyrus put Jerusalem, sometimes called Shash Bazaar, in charge of the expedition. He was the grandson of King Jehoiakim. Jehoiakim. Wait. Jehoiakim, who was taken captive by Nebuchadnezzar and might have been king of Judah himself 
had his grandfather been a better man. Matthew tells us that he was in the line of famous people through whom Christ came. Matthew 1 verse 12. Zerubbabel was a governor of Judah and Joshua a descendant a direct descendant of Aaron, the high priest. So they had a Zerubbabel, the governor of Judah, and Joshua, uh, a high priest. Interesting. You can imagine how busy these two men were getting everybody and everything ready for the long journey to Jerusalem. Gradually, the huge caravan was made ready. It, it were 736 horses, 245 mules, 435 camels, and, oh, and it's got that word I can't say, 6,720 donkeys. And if it don't say donkey. Which is a lot of uh, quite a lot of animals. At long last, Zerubbabel gave the signal to start. What, what a shout must have gone up as those har, uh, those ahead stepped forward, and the long line of ox-drawn carriages, loaded donkeys, cows, sheep, goats, and people moved forward, and. I can almost see the boys and girls dancing for joy. I can almost see the boys and girls dancing for joy. Can't you? On to Jerusalem was the cry upon everybody's lips. They could couldn't go there couldn't get there too soon. How exciting it must have been in the procession in the procession were 200 singing men and women so they had a choir that was singing all the while interesting 200 of them that's a big choir how they sang their hearts burst into joy I don't know what they sang, but it may well have been that lovely song that says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercies endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, who he hath redeemed from the land of the enemy. And gather them upon the them out of the lands from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south. And then that's the three dots. And he leads them forth by the right way that they might go to a city of habitation. Oh, that men would rise, would praise the Lord of his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. So the caravan ro rolled on toward Jerusalem and God's provi provided and God's providence of new day, a new day had drawn for the children of Israel. A great new chance had been given them. What would they do with it? And you, uh, they got an illustration of the, the gates of Babylon, which they, um, what's his name? Um, Hussein erected back up and this is what we know they look like blue gates and this is the illustration of them marching out 
and yeah, it looks like it's just block colors. And that was the end of part two, story two. Uh, that was the end. So, like always, it's break. And we'll see you in a bit.